Hey, what's up, guys? I got a quick look at Tranquil ROM for the HTC Droid DNA, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you notice about this ROM is that it is running Android 4.1.2 with HTC Sense 5.0. You guys can see here, I've been getting pretty decent battery life on this ROM. I've been getting about 19 hours. So I've been getting through a day with pretty heavy usage, actually. I've been watching some YouTube videos, playing music, stuff like that. You guys may have noticed this is now running the BUPS kernel, which actually has a color enhancement. So you guys may have noticed that there are actually brighter whites and the screen does look a little bit better. And BUPS kernel is based off of the stock kernel with just a few tweaks added. A few complaints of the previous ROM was that you could not set the recents button to a menu button that has been fixed. So set the recent apps button where you can long press for menu or you just tap once for menu and long press for recents i have it set up to where i can actually long press for menu because i use the recents more but you can see that now that you don't have to have that annoying menu bar when you're in applications you can just go ahead and press and hold the recent apps or just tap it and the most exciting thing about this rom is actually the extended quick settings what this is is the rom control of tranquil dna if you guys don't know what rom control is that is on aokp so the first page here is the quick settings. There is actually an app in the app drawer that is called quick settings. I will put a screenshot up right now that actually allows you to do the same things that you see right here. So we're going to go ahead and scroll over. Now under the system UI, we get to change a few things. So the first off is the recent apps. So as you see right here, I actually have the AOSP style. If we go ahead and turn this on, the system UI is going to restart. And now you see that we have the Sense 5 recent styles where we go ahead and just swipe up. So if we go back, swipe back on over. Now this the system UI background is where if you want a transparent background throughout the apps like settings and all that. Clock and header options, go ahead and open this up. This is where you can have your status bar clock visible or you can choose to hide it if you choose to. This is also where you can choose to hide the AM PM you see right there next to it. And this is also where you can customize your clock. So this is also where you can go ahead and choose these Tranquil status bar clock where it's got the kind of highlighted blue as the 4G LTE does right there. Center, stock, stock is on the right of course. Blue and white, which you guys should know what that is. It just changes the color of the clock. Now the header clock, go ahead and pull this down, is the clock right there. You can go ahead and change a few settings on that as well. Same as the status bar clock. Now the show header lock icon, you see right there the little lock icon. That will actually lock your screen and it's really useful if you don't want to reach up and tap your power button. And also you can show and hide the beats icon that shows up in the top right corner. And if we go ahead and continue to the status bar battery, this is where you can go ahead and choose your different battery icon. You see I have the white honeycomb. But you do have a list and it's really easy to apply. You just click on it and then you choose it. So let's go ahead and go back. And also you can show and hide multiple icons. So if you don't really want to see them, you can go ahead and hide those. Prism, this is the HTC Sense 5 launcher. This is where you can show the icon text, where if you don't know what that is, go ahead and go home. It's where the text is underneath the icons. So if we go under clock widgets, this is actually where you can choose the background of the clock. See, I like the blue inverted clock flips, and I also like the white digits. And as you can see right there, this is the HTC Sense clock. And the good thing about release 3 is that you actually don't have to delete the widget from your home screen. It changes without you having to do anything to it. And continue, you can also choose the dock icon, as you see right there. Just open this up. You can quickly grab any little icon that you want. Say you want the dark gray ripples. Go ahead and open that, and you can go ahead and select it. And as you can see, it applied the icon to our app drawer. So if we go ahead and go back. So you see if you don't want the stock 4x4, you can go ahead and choose the 4x5 and it resets the HTC Sense Launcher so that you have five rows instead of just the normal four. And also this is where you can show or hide the app drawer text and also the app drawer background. So if you want to see what's on your home screen through your app drawer, you can go ahead and check that off so you don't have a solid background, which is pretty neat. Finally, on the miscellaneous, we have the landscape phone, which if you want your phone in landscape, we have the SMS screen on and off, which I do not like the screen to come on when I get my text messages. Jackhammer, this is the amount of vibration when you tap a button or tap the screen. Three dots menu is if you want the three dots menu on the home screen. It's pretty self-explanatory. Long press buttons is where you can go ahead and mess with what happens when you long press them. I have it where if I long press home, it takes me to Google Now. And as you see, if I long press the recent apps, which I changed in the actual settings, it goes to the menu button. You can also choose how long a long press really is. 
And you can also choose what to do with the buttons when you're on the lock screen. So you see when my phone is locked but the screen is on, I have it to where my home turns on the flashlight, which I find is a pretty neat feature. And auto brightness mode, this is where you can mess with the values of your light sensor. Go ahead and continue. The button brightness, that's of course how bright your buttons are down there. If you go ahead and go into kernel settings, the current kernel doesn't support much of these because it is based on the stock kernel. So we don't get the sweep to wake or we don't get a few of these other options. But we do get the fast charge if you choose to use that. So let's go ahead and go back. Now the dialer theme is kind of like the clock. You can choose what you want behind the actual numbers of the phone. So as you see right there, there's a theme behind the dialer. And continuing in the theme options, we can also theme our keyboard. So you see the keyboard, I am using the fade theme because I think it looks the best and it has the kind of dark blue that's going on throughout the entire ROM. And lastly, under themes, we have the lock screen options. Now this is where you can either show or hide the Bad Seeds logo. What that is, go ahead and lock it and unlock it, is the logo up top right here. If you choose to show that or not, you see I have it hidden. But let's go ahead and go back. And then finally we have our clear cache, clear Dalva cache, and we also have mount as read and write so we can actually change the status bar icons and toggles and stuff like that. If you are having issues with the read and write where you can't actually get the clock or the battery icons to stick, you can open up ES File Explorer and if you press and hold menu you can go to Root Explorer and you can actually mount the system as read and write and you don't have to actually buy Root Explorer or any other paid apps like that. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot, and I will see you guys in the next video.